Hi, my name is Tanya Seaman, and today I'm going to teach you how to work the scallops in Linea Monte. To start off, we'll begin with the right edge increases, the two KFBs, so KFB and KFB. And then we'll knit to the first marker. I'm going to sped that up for you a little bit and uh, then we'll slip that marker, knit five stitches, and then we will do a lifted right increase knitted. Okay. And I will show that to you again slowly. We're going to do a replay. So you pull the lower loop up onto the left hand needle, knit through it as you would normally, and now you have just created a new stitch. We're going to place a marker on the left hand needle, turn our work slip that new stitch and then we're going to purl back to the marker and we're going to do a left uh, a lifted right increase that we purl turn the work we begin row three by slipping that stitch that we just lifted, that we just added, knit four, and we're going to do another lifted right increase that we knit. Turn the work, slip this new stitch back to the right hand needle, purl three stitches, do another lifted right increase, purl it, turn our work, and we're going to slip that stitch we just created, knit two stitches, and do a right lifted increase. Turn the work, slip the first stitch, and then we're going to purl one stitch and do another lifted right increase that we purl. So turn the work and Slip that stitch and knit to the marker. You may need to knit through the back of some stitches to make sure they're not twisted. So just look closely at your stitches um, because you want them to be nice and smooth and very continuous. Slip this marker and uh, knit 15 stitches. And place a marker pulling from the first uh, marker in your sequence. Now I'm going to show you how to knit forward and backward so you never have to turn your work. We'll finish row one here knitting the last stitch and then we're going to do the lifted right increase that we knit. All right. Now, we're not going to turn it, but we're going to go backwards, place the marker on the left-hand needle, slip this, this new stitch back to the left-hand needle. We're going to knit backwards to the marker. I'm a little slow here because it's awkward for me. I've just learned to do this 
properly, bringing the yarn forward over the needle. Um, so excuse my, my slowness on this. It's something that takes practice and you'll get practice after doing all of these scallops, right? And now we're going to start the next row, which is a left lifted increase. Knit that. And then knit four, forward. And then we're going to do a right lifted increase, knit, and the next row we slide that back to the left hand needle and knit three backwards. And then begin the next row with a lifted increase, left, knit two, and do a right lifted increase. Okay, for the next row we slide this back, knit one, and we do an, a left lifted increase. And now we knit to the marker. Um, this is six stitches. And just be sure again that uh, to not twist your stitches. So knit through the back as necessary. One more stitch and then we'll slip the marker and at this point we would knit 15 to get in place to do another scallop. Um, I'm not going to do that because you already know how to knit. Uh, and this is, this is the piece. This is um, what we've got. I hope you found this video helpful and I wish you well in putting together the pattern.